Miles here, milesbeckler.com, and in this video, I wanna talk a bit about the really common phrase that growth begins outside of your comfort zone. Now, I wanna explain this quote in a little bit of depth to help you reframe maybe some feelings that you feel like nervousness or fear or doubt. I wanna help you reframe those so they become kind of allies to you instead of enemies to you. And I'm gonna share a story about how this has been going down in my life to give you some perspective. So first of all, you've probably heard the quote before, and it's that growth begins outside of your comfort zone. I don't know exactly where this quote came from, but when I posted on Instagram, people were just like absolutely 100% agree. And when you really truly believe this to the point of implementing it in your life, you actually begin to seek out those experiences that force you outside of your comfort zone. You see, most people in their life are on autopilot of some sort. They're doing what feels safe and secure, but that's only a feeling of security. And what they're doing is they're staying within their comfort zone. They drive the same route to the same office, even though they potentially don't like what they do. They work the same 40 hours a week with the plan to do that for 40 years with no real kind of hopeful sighted end but all of that feels comfortable. And it feels comfortable because generally, generationally, that's what a lot of us are taught is the right way or the safe way to go about things. And number two, there's really not a huge chance for failure, right? Like stepping out into the unknown as an entrepreneur really puts us out on a limb. And most entrepreneurs have failed forward. They've had ideas that they've executed on that have completely flopped, and then they pick themselves up and do it again and again. Most people are so afraid of that potential failure, whereas entrepreneurs who understand that growth occurs outside of the comfort zone realize that that fear, that feeling of like, oh man, am I doing this? Is this going to work? That's actually a good feeling because that means we're getting outside of our comfort zone and that is where growth occurs. So as you're moving forward in your business, in your marketing, if you're feeling these, or even with a 90 day YouTube challenge, for example, if you're feeling this feeling in your gut that's running around, some call it butterflies in the stomach, and you're like, oh man, I'm nervous, you can reframe this to where you can start to think, wow, maybe that's what excitement feels like. Maybe that's what the feeling before growth feels like because that's the feeling of the boundary of my comfort zone. And when you truly believe, I mean, at a deep sense in the core of your being, that A, you're here to grow as an individual, and B, that growth occurs outside of your comfort zone, you begin to look at these kind of biogenetic responses to being out of your comfort zone, fear and doubt and nervousness and the butterflies in your stomach as a good thing. And when you have those feelings, you're like, aha, there's that feeling in the pit of my stomach, this is a good thing. So one example is when I did my speech in front of about 100 entrepreneurs or so at DMSS here in Bali. You know, the moments before going on and when they were announcing me and they were doing my intro, man, I got this feeling in my stomach, the butterflies were fluttering around, but I've trained myself over the years to think that's not nerves, that's not nervousness for me at all, that's excitement. That's excitement for me to go do something that I haven't done regularly or enough to where it feels normal, right? Like going to your job every day, if you're working a job right now, when you first got that job, you probably felt excited or nervous or you had all kinds of emotions when you were going to the job for the interview, the first few days, maybe even the first few weeks. But after a certain period of time, you get in the comfort zone, you get on autopilot and those feelings go away. And that's your body telling you that you're not growing and as an entrepreneur, we need to continue to grow in order to continue to A, expand what we're doing and B, to be of service of others. So one quick story about how this is playing out for me. I'm actually starting my Abundant Circle event tomorrow here in Bali. I've laid out well over five figures on the line of my own money in order to rent a nine room beachfront mansion here in Bali. I've flown out private chefs. I've flown out a videographer to help me document this process. And I'm bringing together, I believe, 13 entrepreneurs in order to help them with their business. Now, this, I love the experience, right? Like the event and getting to really dig deep into people's businesses. And, and these, are, these are some really, really high-end people, right? We're talking like they're doing half mil, million a year plus type business owners. And 
I'm really able with my skill set and what I understand about marketing, I'm able to help these people really grow their businesses because they're implementers and they always they already have a really solid foundation built. So I love the experience of this five nights, getting together six days, we're going on a yacht, I'm just we're I'm really going to pour myself into each of their businesses to try to help them to grow the businesses. But here's where the, the whole like out of your comfort zone part comes in. The logistics of booking out an event are like so challenging to me, right? So I've got to sell the spots, I've got to choose the location, I've got to find the my chef, I've got to, I've got to bring people together, I'm coordinating a team of people, I'm coordinating locations and arrival information and you know my goal is to make this a very, uh, I guess like a white glove experience so when people show up they're just absolutely catered to, it's the true feeling of abundance for them, but for me on the inside, I got a little bit of uh, running around like a chicken with my head cut off, like, I'm all over the place because there's so many things for me to do. But this is actually really a good thing for me. And here's why. Number one, it's getting me outside of my comfort zone, right? It's getting me to do things, book events that I've never done before, which brings up all new challenges. Now, am I going to continue to do these really small events in the future? I don't know. Am I going to scale up to where I'm doing events in uh, hotel conference rooms with 100, 200, 500 entrepreneurs? I don't really know, but I know this is going somewhere and I know that I have a message to share with the world and I know that a lot of people want more information from me and more access to me and I really enjoy doing this in person when people want to go deeper. So I know that there's a path leading me somewhere here and this is just a part of me following that path and figuring out where it's actually going. So that's really kind of the biggest thing and I'm totally out of my comfort zone. Now it's not the experience, right? Like the teaching, the digging into their businesses, the, the figuring out what, what in their content or where, what conversion mechanisms we can increase kind of their business and help them double their business. That's actually the easy part. It's putting everything together that's actually been challenging to me and it's kept me out of my kind of comfort zone. The really cool part is now that I've, this is my second year of doing this, I've got a, a building a team around this and I'm probably going to be able to pass off a lot of the logistics in the future, but that's how it's been with every aspect of our business. I now have a designer, a developer, customer service people, layout designers, editors, copy editors, writers, all of these individuals working on our team, but here's the kicker. For the beginning, I was figuring everything out on my own and I had no clue how to install WordPress. I had no clue how to install or change a theme, how to customize a theme or what PHP was, no idea at all. That was the limit of my comfort zone then. We're talking five, seven, eight years ago. That was me late night, like, man, I wanna customize this theme. I wanna move this over here within my WordPress theme. That was completely outside of my comfort zone. Now today, not only can I go in and make all of these changes to a theme that I want, like theme hack any WordPress theme in a heartbeat, I've actually got a guy to do that for me. So I've broken through my comfort zone to where that became my normal and then it got so easy that I replaced myself from doing that task with another individual who now handles that task for me so I can once again get outside of my comfort zone and keep moving forward in growth. See, I believe that there's two states of being in this world. We're either growing or we're dying. And about a year and a half ago, a little under a year and a half ago, was when I decided it was time for me to grow into being a content creator. That's when I started this 90 day video challenge and that was way outside of my comfort zone. It just felt awkward the first few times I made the videos. Now sitting down here with you, finding a little spot at the resort I'm staying at to get this shot and communicate this idea with you, this is fun and easy, but yet I'm still continuing to push that kind of comfort zone through on stage speaking at events. I got booked for another event that's gonna be happening in Europe. I'll update you with information once we know the dates of that event. I I'm running my own events and masterminds. So I'm finding new ways to push through my comfort zone to continue that growth process. And the cool part is the side benefit of all this is audience growth. And as I continue to be of service to you and my audience, that does generate income for me. So it does have a business benefit through all of this, but ultimately it all comes from continuing to push through that comfort zone and to grow as an individual and as an entrepreneur. So if you're going through challenges right now. You're trying to figure out Facebook ads. You're trying to do your 90 day challenge and it feels hard. 
or maybe you're, you're ready to do your first Facebook Live or your YouTube Live and you just feel all these nerves in your stomach. And you're like, oh man, you actually, maybe you didn't even do it and you turned it off and decided not to because those feelings were so strong. You're going to feel the feelings. There's a book, I've never read the book, but I love the title. It's called Feel the Fear and Do It Anyways. And that's such a kind of a great motto for someone who wants to continue to grow in their life because you're gonna feel these feelings anyways and you're gonna have to break through and push through to accomplish that goal, whether it's becoming a content creator, becoming an active or a successful Facebook pay-per-click marketer, becoming an affiliate marketer, whatever it is, you're going to feel those feelings. So. Begin to train yourself to notice and observe when your body's having those feelings that you maybe used to kind of call nervousness or fear and start to just realize that that's actually the feeling. That's my biomechanical feedback for my comfort zone, which means this is a good thing. So if I go through and do that challenging thing and I go through that difficult moment and I get into it deeper, that means I'm in the area or the realm where growth occurs. And then you begin to invite these feelings and you're like, I'm gonna do another YouTube live, even though it makes me feel this way, I know I'm growing as a person or I'm gonna make another video seven days a week. I'm gonna go for 120 days on my video challenge and not 90 because I know that is where growth occurs. It's different for everyone, so you gotta be a little introspective to figure out how this fits in with you and in your business and in your lifestyle, but just know, start to train your body, start to be observant of your biomechanical feedback when you're feeling those feelings that a lot of people call fear and scary and oh no, that's actually your comfort zone. And when you break through and get to the other side, it becomes easy, you experience growth and you start to look for those next opportunities for growth, just as I'm about to break through and have a wonderful experience with uh, 12 entrepreneurs from all around the globe, helping them grow their business, because I broke through all of the bits and pieces and the challenges and the doubts of, oh, am I gonna fill it, am I not? Should I do this, should I not? Is it worth my time, is it not? All those thoughts and doubts were creeping in. I did it anyways. And here I am one day before we start, I'm excited about it. I of course feel a little interesting biomechanical feedback, but I've trained myself to call that excitement. And I'm excited to dig in because I'm not focused on me anymore. It's all about my guests at this point, And it's all about me helping them grow their businesses. If they don't walk away with an exact plan of implementation to do what's required to double their business within the next year. I feel like I've let them down. So I'm all kinds of fired up and excited to push this forward. So figure out where that is for you. If you're just getting started, maybe your comfort zone is installing WordPress and installing a theme and writing your first blog post. If you've been doing content for a while, been doing marketing for a while, maybe cutting a video and publishing a video and starting a 90 day challenge of videos. Maybe that's where you feel all those kind of like, ah, I can't believe I'm doing this type emotions. And that means that is where your potential breakthrough is. And on the other side of all potential breakthroughs, right, when we go through those feelings, sometimes things flop and that's okay, but we still seek out these opportunities for growth, we push forward and we see where it leads us because eventually if you habituate these things, like I've done here, the videos become easy and it is opening up doors for me. The connections I'm making, I'm, I'm helping people in amazing ways through this channel, which the feedback I'm getting just enriches my life and it's fulfilling, but I'm getting these really cool speaking opportunities now. Uh, I'm being able to bring people together in these luxury mastermind retreats that I'm putting on and life is getting more and more fun and that's all been because I've pushed through my comfort zone time and time and time again in order to continue to grow and then I've followed that path where it has led me. Today, at this moment, it's led me to this moment with you. I thank you for your time. I'm here in Bali. It's pretty amazing to be able to live this lifestyle and had I remained in my comfort zone, in my hometown, never moved out of my hometown, going commuting to a day job that was safe and secure because there was a paycheck associated with it. If I never broke out of that mold and decided, you know what, I'm gonna take a risk. I'm gonna go live as inexpensively as possible in New Mexico. I moved to Albuquerque, New Mexico. I was living for $285 per month. I grew up in the Bay Area, mind you, so that's a big difference in cost of living. And I knuckled down for years and years and years as inexpensively as possible to figure this business game out. It was a constant path of growth for me, and I'm so thankful I did. In the moment, there were some very, very challenging times. There were some breakthroughs that I didn't feel were breakthroughs. 
I felt like they were breakdowns in the process, but that's a part of the game. And I'm so thankful I did. So if you're on your path, know that these growth opportunities are great. If you're feeling those challenging emotions, reprogram what you call those in your mind. Those are opportunities for growth. Those are excitement. Those are the feelings of your comfort zone. And you are about to have a breakthrough. And when you focus on those breakthroughs and the value you get as a person and your audience gets from you continuing to go through these breakthroughs, it's no longer about you. The, you'll feel the fear and you'll do it anyways because you've got a bigger why. I hope this has been a helpful video for you. If it has, give me a thumbs up. If you made it to the end, this was fairly long, about 15 minutes, longer than I expected. Hashtag badass to you for making it to the end because that means you're willing to invest your time into growth and that's what it takes. It takes growing at all costs. That's what every entrepreneur goes through regularly. If you haven't subscribed yet, definitely hit the subscribe button um, and I'll be putting up more videos. I put about three videos a week that probably will be going up soon. And when I get back to the US in just over a week, I'll uh, get back on my my YouTube lives. Once I get better internet access, we'll start doing funnel reviews and ad reviews and other fun question and answer sessions live once I kind of get this home office, home studio dialed in. Until then, be well. Thank you again for your time. Thank you for your attention. I do appreciate it. Greetings from Bali. I wish you a great day and I will see you on the next video.